So someone requested Nick Natanui's first two games. Didn't send a link, so I don't know what he meant exactly, but I found two videos. Nick Natanui's first AFL game v Richmond, and second AFL game v Hawthorne. So I guess I'm reacting to those. And we also got fantastic fives for Tony Lockett, Chris Judd, and Peter Dacos. Also arriving to All right. the Butterflies are a couple of high-profile draft picks playing their first games. Cool. For the Eagles, it's Nick Natanui taking the pick number two. Well, speaking of those that cold in the background. <laughs> that music. They went head to head last year in the under 18s, only 11 months ago here on this ground. Right. What an exciting matchup we've got tonight. Well, it's wonderful, isn't it? To see Interesting hair choices there. And, uh, <laughs> of course, I guess it was cooler right, back then. It's not that long ago, to be fair, but still. What year was it? And it just won't be as daunting. And what finds its target? I bloated 09. Okay, I guess it's in 09. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. All right. It's interesting with Cox not rucking. I thought Cox might have gone to the. I guess they show all his like all his plays really. Should be good. Okay. He's doing the tagging job on Kerr. I wonder if he's got a goal as well. It would be nice to see. Isn't that the, didn't they change that rule? Uh, yeah, that's what that original Nata Nui. Right here there we go. Great lead. Nui. Good lead, yeah. The opposition. As Cox has done that. He pressed by hand that he wants. He doesn't want. Lay on. There we go. Foot kick into the pocket for Nata Nui. There's a win. There he is. Oh. You hear the crowd get up and excite. Unlucky. The Almost got there. The Only his first game, to be from fair. Every time he's in there, he's just oh, providing some danger. So That's the right term. Um, the there we go. There's an assist. And the in the future, Always has defenders worried there when he's in there. His first disposal in AFL footy creates a goal. Yep. And Not too bad, that. To him as quickly as they can because you can one see disposal, there. one assist. He's an athlete. He Not can bad. get to the ground level. He's got a fantastic leap. He has and indeed. A couple of times when they've gone forward, they've gone sideways slowly, and you've got this prospect up there for goodness yeah. sake using. Brilliant. Old West Coast against the tide, and there's Mum, Tenna. Very happy lady. There she is. What a proud moment. A proud mother. That Nui family. Not much ahead for him. Long range, there's Nanadui. Comes a run here. There he is. What's he going to do? Kennedy is longer and Lacrosse here. Almost. Oh, there he is again. That did pretty well. Get the ball. Did really well, but. Gee, it's exciting, Nanadui. He's exciting. Yeah. Took the mark, played it on, almost got that. Not bad so far for the first game. There's never any question about it. His ability, it was just... Yeah, as soon as he kicked it, he was, he was back in. He was straight back in to run in. You can see by that shot there with Glass, he's not, uh, not a tall lad. There he is again. Who are you then? Let's have a look at I don't know why, but that hair looks really funny. So random, I don't know. No, it's like it's a, I don't know. I don't know what to compare it to. The reach is so much further than his opponent. Great to see a ruckman just actually jumping straight up to the ball too, Rob. Well, they all, all, all the uh, recruiting scouts said he was just exceptional there he as is. an athlete. Looks like he knows how to play too. Good disposal there. I was going to go out. Disappointing. I was going to say it's going to lead to a goal, but I don't think it is. So chance for the Maybe he did, I don't know. Try and lock it in the forward 50. They can't do that, at least not for the moment. Got it, and Kennedy Ooh. takes advantage of the spill to put his fourth through. Matt Nui up top again, well done. That is his personal best four. There he is. I want to see him score a goal, but I don't know if he got one. Good hit, Matt Nui. If not this game, hopefully the next one. From under 18 days. If he doesn't, then I guess uh, let me know when his first goal was. Yeah, that was a good pass. Good disposal. Closing narrowly. There's 17 behind. There he is. And you just get the feeling, Rob. One it. if it is closest in the last quarter. 
but well, obviously losing quite convincingly, but you know. And I knew he's played quite well. Oh, I wanted him to shoot there, to be fair. There's another assist there. Good kick, to be fair, but still. Good assist. Here we go. Here he is. Again, causing problems for the defence. Look at this. Oh, unlucky. Just missed you there. If he connects there, you never know. Mark? Yes! He flew high indeed. To the West Coast Eagles who indeed do fly high. Here we go. This is similar. There we go. Hits the post. Bad luck for the youngster. Unlucky. First game, you know, you can let him off. But I was convinced he'd get the goal here. I was convinced he'd uh, he'd, uh, <laughs> he'd just go scratch. on and score, but he did score, but not a goal. Unbelievable. Here's Mum. Oh well. She's still proud. Boss. Long ball that to the wing for Edwards and Nadanui. A bit more to feast our There he is. Just got the handball away, but it was good enough. To the ball. Picks it up and fires it out. When I first saw him, I think I first saw him in my first ever reaction to AFL, but when I first, like, properly recognised who he was, it was a game against the Giants, actually, I think. In the last two minutes video, where he won, won the game for them. Amazing game, that. Many years later. Look at that. That he can leap. Who did he play for? Thrill the crowds, and we're going to see plenty of the Before this? I don't know, but anyway, yeah, that that was good. On to the second game. To put the footy I asked who he played for because for it looks like Collingwood, but I don't, I don't think it is. Definitely not. Definitely not Collingwood. I mean, the VFL team, not obviously not Magpies. Oh, here we go. There he is. Straight away, it's against Hawthorne as well. Of course it is. Of course it's against my team, but still. What a goal. Close game as well, and they're winning. Look at the fans. Not a good day weather-wise. Windy, as by looks of it. Raining, but look at that. Probably the most impressive part so far, actually. It's only been a few seconds, but I mean, like, for the two games. That's the most impressive part, for sure. Look at that! Look at that! Look at the weather there! Jeez! I wonder why it's won the last quarter though. Was he not that good in the first three? I don't know. Never mind. I guess he did play well, but he didn't score until the last quarter. And he got two goals! Oh, he had two touches. Okay, that's why. Good thing I listened to that, actually. Good thing I heard that. But still, though, those two goals just came out of nowhere. If I was watching AFL back then, I would have been annoyed. Because I'm a whole fan. fan. So I would have been annoyed. I would have been like, What are you doing? How do you let him do this? It's a hat trick, is it? Good goals. The first goal, though, the best one for me, but still. Three good goals. First one, very, very well done. Second one, good finish. Third one, good run, good kick. And, uh, yeah. I think he's up to win the game. I don't know what the final score was, but... 26 points. It's a big lead. Look at him. Only his second game. Only his second game in the AFL. Unbelievable. Subscribe to Frank Max. He is uh, the one who made this video, I guess. Nick Ladanui. 
He is what Lance Franklin was three or four years ago when he was emerging, except he's bigger. Is he ready? He's even more raw and um, he is absolutely thrilling. Yeah, he's thrilling. No one here tonight will forget the occasion. Matt Miller's second game. Well, I've only just seen it now, but yeah. Beyond last year's previous... Eagles fans, do you still remember that moment? Let me know. There is more to that video, but it's just interviews and stuff, just analysis, I guess. But uh, yeah, that, that was good. That was good. Like, that fourth foot performance, those three goals, those are crazy. Especially those first two goals as well. I think it happened really quickly as well in a few minutes. But uh, yeah, that was awesome to watch. On to the three Fantastic Fives, Tony Lockett, Chris Judd, and Peter Dacos. Let's watch this. I know all three of them, so, you know, I've seen videos of them before, all three. So this should be fun. Should be really awesome to watch. Here we go, Tony Lockett, great player, great player. I hope they show that goal where uh, he reached the milestone and they uh, ran onto the pitch. Look at that, good mark. Here he is, Mr. Lockett. There we go. That's standard for him. That's, uh, he can get those every day. Any day of the week. Good mark. I didn't check what match it was by the way, sorry. But yeah, wow. Nice. Yeah, he's not gonna miss from there, is he? By his standards. Where is he? Where's Tony? There he is. Love it, Mr. Tony. Or Mr. Lockett, I should say. There we go. That was good. It's good play, once again. Yes, he can. Nine goals. Ten. Wow. I mean, he scored a lot of goals in his career, so it's no surprise really, but still. Ten goals in the game for anyone is crazy. Eleven. How many did he get? Twelve. Unbelievable. Twelve goals. People are running to the pitch when he scores. Jeez. The Secure Football Club told Channel Ten and Channel Seven when and where Lockett would be arriving at the hospital, and gave permission to myself, Eddie Maguire, and Peter Donigan to interview the gun full forward. The only trouble What's was on, eh? no one told Tony. Um. I just went to the hospital expecting to be there. You know, I was disappointed and a bit down in the dumps. I suppose you call it. Okay, I'm not sure what that was about, but yeah, let me know if you know more about that. I was like, what's going on here? But yeah, there we go. Once again, <laughs> fans love just running onto the pitch when he uh, gets goals. Where's the one with the swans? Show me it. Is it this one? I don't know. This is the finals game, right? Here we are. It's a prelim, right, I think. 94 prelim. Maybe. 95 prelim. 96 prelim. Yeah, 96. Yeah, I saw, the, I saw videos of this. The reaction videos of this. It was amazing. What's number one, the landmark? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. One three hundred, one thousand three hundred, I think, or one thousand. How many goals was it? I can't remember the landmark, but still, this moment, I knew it was going to be in the video. I remember this. One three hundred, yeah, I knew it. Was there a pie fan there as well running in? I thought I was seeing him for a second. Like it was a, it was a Tony Lockett goal. Swans fans were running in. There was a Collingwood fan there as well. But anyway, um, on to Chris Judd, number five. 
Here we go. Paper West Coast and Carlton, of course. Nice. Round 5, 2006. Here we go. No, they cannot. When he's in the moods, he is awesome. Awesome to watch. Yeah, good goal. There he is again. Where is he? There he is. What's that, five? He's got four, sorry. I lost count there, like, completely. What am I doing? Can you count five, David? Off. The grand final. Look at this. I think Sydney won this game, right? 05. And West Coast won in 06, pretty sure. There he is. Cool. Brave if it's a comeback on. Jack kicks it alive. Chris Judge. Played very well in this grand final. Very well. The winner of the Lawrence Fifth Bell from 2005, West Coast Eagles, Chris Judge. Alrighty then. Obviously played really well in that game. A very close game as well. What a rivalry that was. West Coast and Sydney. Crazy. Carlton V. Geelong. What a hit. What a hit. Look at this. Look at this. From Chris. Look at that. Brilliant. Back with the Eagles. There we go. Indeed, indeed it is. Sort of the air, eh? Look at that. I don't know if he won goal of the year, by the way, but the commentators, in his opinion, was goal of the year. But still, great, great goal. Round 12, 0 3. And against the champions as well. Of that year and the year before. And the year before that. Boom. And my captain is finished there. There we go. I think I've said this before, but I hope to make one for Cyril. Make one for Cyril AFL. I want one for Cyril Rioli. Would be great. Oh. There we go. Nice one. He has. He has. He has. Chris Judd. Boom. Love it. He is indeed. Now we've got Peter Dacos. I saw a video of him before, 16 minute long video of like just his goal for 16 minutes. And he was really fun to watch. Like really fun to watch. Look at that. Just look at that. One of the reasons, like the, the type of goals he scored were amazing. He was awesome. Look at that. I love players who can just score lots of goals, like different types of goals, from the angle, long range, short range. It's just awesome to watch. Look at that. And Dacos had just had that range of goals. There he is, look. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Number two. There we go. No one can break clear. Oh. In the grand final as well, I think. Oh. I think the Pies won that one as well, I'm pretty sure. What a goal. In the grand final as well. 
Brilliant. Here he is again. The master, indeed. Oh, I love his goals, man. His goals are so good. Same year, previous game. Oh no, two games before this. Look at that. Look at that. Right foot as well. Even harder to do from there. So yeah, only, only like a two more left, I think. Only like two or three more left. As you probably realise, I left my favourite ones to last. I left the ones that I think that I'd enjoy the most to last. Having said that, I did Alan Dylak for quite early to be fair, Alan Dylak, like he was he's awesome as well. But anyway, we also got, uh, well, the video's over now, but in the next video we have Gary Abbott Senior, and then we got Favola and Akimanis left. So uh, yeah, that's good. Anyway, this is your boy Davidoff, please like, share, subscribe, thanks for watching, have a good day, and see ya.